How's it going? So, you ready? Here we go. Save. Cool. Let me close this. Awesome. That was supposed to be closed window. Hang on. There we go. Done. Attach the file. You guys are seeing this live. This is real. This is it. This is it. Send. All right. Hey, guess what? Um, why does that keep showing up? I can close that. There we go. Um, guess what? So, SQL in the City streamed that you guys are watching right now. A little side benefit that we've decided to give you is you will get an early release copy of the book you just saw me finish live. Uh, that, was, that was the end of the SQL Server Execution Plans book. Took three and a half stinking years to get that done. Um, now, it is going to be an ebook that we're going to send you. It's not going to be literally a print copy of the book, so, so don't get too excited. But, um, but yeah, everybody who's um, registered now gets, gets a copy of that book, and, and I can't begin to tell you how jazzed I am about it uh, because um, it's been three and a half years getting the book done. Now, the section I just finished, if we were to switch back over to here, I've got this really ugly query. And um, by the way, Kathy Kellenberger is going to be up next um, at, at 2.40. So I'm, I'm just going to take a little bit of time here, play for a little bit, show you guys some new stuff that's coming out um, with the new book because I'm excited. I can't say it enough. Anyway, I've got this really ugly query, and if you take a look at it, it, it really is. Select star from uh, sys.columns as o, select star from sys.columns.c, no join criteria, select star from everything. It's a heinous, heinous query. And if we run this query, it runs pretty long. Now, SQL Server 17, uh, it actually got introduced in SQL Server uh, 2016, has this thing called live execution plans. And so we can take a look at this query right here, and we can go and include live query statistics. And this will let us see the execution plan live. And I'll go ahead and run that for you guys so you can see it. And that's a toggle, and so you still have to execute the query. And then it starts running live execution statistics. And so you can see the little dotted lines going, you see the row counts going. And this is kind of a useful thing, because so you, you can take a look at a, a long, slow, badly designed query and see exactly where within the query, uh, within the plan, things are slowing down where rows are being processed. Further, you can see estimates versus actuals. So if there's more rows being processed than, than, than it thought, or fewer rows being processed than it thought, you can actually see that live as the query is executing if it's a long-running query. Um, now, the issue that you have here is, is that the way I just did it is, is that I have to turn on live execution statistics, and then I have to run the query, and then I can capture all that information. And that's great. But what about, you know, at 3 a.m. when the, you know, query is running slow and you want to know what's going on? Well, things get interesting there. Let me stop this right now because it's just going to keep running for a while. If you are running SQL Server 2014 SP2 or greater, if you are running SQL Server 2016 SP1 or greater, or if you're running 2017 or you're on Azure, where you should be anyway, we've got a trace flag. Trace flag 7412. Now we turn on trace flag 7412. That's now trace flag 7412 is on. And now let's take that same query. Let's turn off the live query statistics. So now if we run this query, it's just running the query. There's no, no longer is there execution plan involved. None of that fun stuff. It's just running a query. So let's just run this long running query. Now remember, trace flag 7412 is enabled. Now, with trace flag 7412 enabled, let's go over to the activity monitor. And the activity monitor's got, you know, some cool stuff. I don't use it much myself. I'm not really a big fan of it. But, oops, there we go. Um, but you can see that the query down there is running. Let's right click on it. And it says, dun dun dun. Wow, things just went wonky. Hang on. I have lost the connection. Ah, there we go. It says live execution plan. I click on that, and in fact, it's showing me the same live execution plan that I was able to capture using the 
execution plan itself. But here, I'm not using the execution plan itself. Here, what I've got is a query that's running long, and I am using lightweight performance metrics. SQL Server has introduced, Microsoft has introduced, lightweight performance metrics. There's two ways you can get those. One, trace flag 7412, like I just showed you. And the other way is an extended event. Now let me show you that just for one second. Lightweight statistics, properties. I'll explain to you what these things do. Give me one second here for this all to open up. My machine's a little slow because I'm on battery. I'll switch over to power for, the, for my full live demo later. <laughs> to make sure it all runs fast. Come on, baby, hurry up. So what you're going to see here in a second, there we go, is this right here. Query thread profile. Now, query thread profile is a debug event. Therefore, great diligence and care should be used when you decide to use it or not use it. But it is a debug event that Microsoft has documented. Therefore, you can use it. Feel free, try it out, test it out, see if it works for you. The one trick that I will tell you right up front is if you want to use a debug event, make sure that you go into the channel and turn on debug. It is turned off by default. Um, I actually have a comment in the chapter where I made it seem so easy to turn that on and Hugo, my tech editor, wrote me a rather long comment um, about what a turd I was for not making sure I told him how to do that before I uh, explained how easy it was to turn it on. So I'm in trouble for that. However, if that's on or if the trace flag is on, you will get those live execution plans for long running queries without having to capture the execution plan in advance. And that's really cool. Now, this is not free stuff. This actually has an added cost. It has added overhead. If your system's under stress, this might cause it to go over the top. So you want to be cautious in adding these things. The least cost method is using trace flag 7412. The second least cost method is using the extended events. And then, of course, the most expensive method is to use capture a live execution plan and pull that information in that way. However, that's just a little tease. You got to see me turn in my book. Yes, that's all done. And it's the book you guys are going to get. It's a great book. Hugo Cornelis has killed me and crushed me good and hard. And we have a fantastic book now coming out because of the work that he has done. Tony Davis, my editor, long-suffering poor man who has to put up with me, poor guy. He has done an amazing, amazing job. And so we finally are going to release this book. It's coming out just in a couple of weeks. It's got to go through some copy edit because English, my English ain't so good all the time. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's it. It's coming out soon. I just wanted to give you a tease, show you some new toys. And other than that, we're going to be turning it over to uh, Tracy. Uh, to um, Kathy, sorry, Tracy. <laughs> Kathy Kellenberger, she's going to be talking about um, SQL Monitor and some other fun stuff. Keep watching, we've got a lot more coming to you for SQL, Server, uh, SQL in the City Live.